Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Jira test management tutorial, we are going to continue with the Jira basic beginner section that we have already covered in the previous two videos. And uh, this series of videos will be completely focusing on the test management within Jira. Now the course contents I have already covered in the first video, but briefly let me touch base what exactly will be the course content of this Jira X-Ray tutorial. Now what exactly is X-Ray? X-Ray is a plugin or add-on that we add within Jira and it's a paid plugin to enable test management functionality within Jira. Now Jira by default won't provide you the test management functionality. You won't be able to write the test cases. There is no sort of structure available by default within Jira. So there are multiple plugins available for test management and X-Ray is one of the very popular plugin or add-on that you can install within Jira to do test management right within Jira itself. So you can write the test case, create test cycles, executions, etc. and manage all of the test related artifacts within Jira itself. Okay, so when we say test management, right? So previously, now currently we do have a lot of other test management tools. Some of them are the add-ons as we have discussed, like the X-Ray and Zephyr is another popular one. I have already created a series on Zephyr uh, with Jira. Uh, so that's already available on the channel. So you can go ahead and watch it. This is the second test management app or add-on that, that we are covering. So the test management functionality can be achieved with this way or there are standalone test management tools also available. Now, if you are, if you have some sort of experience, you would have already worked like a couple of years ago, HP ALM was very popular test management tool, right? So wherein we used to manage all of the test artifacts within the HP ALM. Apart from that, there are many other test management tools, some open source standalone uh, test management tools. Some of them are open source, some of them are paid tools, right? But because Jira is very popular and very widely used, so it makes a lot of sense to have that test management capability within Jira and organizations because they are using Jira for agile project management. They have the defect management within Jira itself. The requirements are within Jira. So it makes a lot of sense to have the test management within Jira as well. And that's where these add-ons are becoming popular and people are using Jira with these add-ons to do test management within Jira as well. Okay. So that's about the first point, basically X-Ray. X-Ray is a test management add-on. Once added within Jira, it will provide you the test management functionality. When we say test management, any Anything related to your artifacts, creating your test plan, your test cases, writing the steps, creating test cycle, execution, raising defects, etc. All of that will be available within Jira itself. Okay. Now the next point is how to install X-Ray plugin in Jira. Okay. Pretty simple. Let's go back and let me go back here to the Jira instance, right? So in order to install any add-on within Jira, you simply need to go to more drop down here and you will see the apps. Okay. Now this is your Jira cloud version, right? So we'll go to apps and search for the app that you want to install, right? So Zephyr Squad is there, okay, already an X-Ray. Okay, so these are very popular test management plugins. Zephyr uh, tutorial is already there. X-Ray test management is what we are going to learn today. So directly if they are visible here, that's fine. Otherwise, you can simply go to explore more apps. Okay, if you'll go to explore more apps, you can simply search for the apps that you are looking for. Okay, so I can simply type in here X-Ray, say for example, hit enter and you will see that X-Ray test management for Jira is available here and you can see the number of installs, right? So it's kind of almost 23,000 installs. So it's kind of used at very wide areas and very uh, large organizations using X-Ray test management, right? So simply click on this and you will get an option to try it out. Okay. So it's basically you can try it free, but then if you are kind of say, for example, 10 user company, 10 and less, it will won't cost you more than USD 10 every month. Okay. So many organizations I have seen that they are still using Excel sheets to maintain all of that. And it's a really tedious process. Once if you are say, for example, five to 10 member team, there are free tools available and there are very minimal um, uh, cost tools. For example, even the X-Ray, if you are less than 10 member team, go ahead and use it. Right. So we can simply click on this, try it free and the, the free trial will be basically available. Okay. So we can simply say start free trial and it will 
add the x-ray test management for your jira instance we close this it's still going on you will see that this progress bar is still going on okay now you'll see that it has been successfully added there is a success message here okay so that means the x-ray test management for this jira instance has been successfully added now once this is added that doesn't mean that by default it will will be available to you straight away you need to do some sort of configuration right so you can see get started configure and manage app okay so if you don't want to go here go, go from here okay say for example it got closed so what you can do is you can go to more again okay go to apps and then you will see in your apps your application or the add-on that you have added the x-ray is available here so any app that you will add will be available here for example there are so many other apps like you know figma etc and there are thousands of apps in the atlassian marketplace so click on this x-ray and it will basically open the app details or the configuration details that you can update there okay so let me close this and you will see there is a very good documentation around the x-ray as well but if you do not want to go through this massive documentation that's why I am creating this whole series for so that you can follow everything that is there within Jira that is required in the project easily by following this tutorial series okay so now the first thing you have to do is basically to configure x-ray okay so from here we need to configure so we can simply click on this configure project okay now if you say configure project you will see that you will get an option to select a project for which you want to configure this x-ray right so x-ray is available in your jira instance but then there might be some projects wherein you don't need test management functionality right uh, they 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 are just sort of say, say for example support project okay the, or uh, test case documentation is not required for those sort of projects so you can skip the you the global setup of x-ray for all the projects so you can simply select Select for which project you want to configure okay so I have selected this particular project since I have only one project and then simply click on configure okay so you'll see that a configure and the cancel button there so I'll sim simply click on configure and x-ray will get configured for this particular project the project that we have selected from the drop down okay so you will see that x-ray x-ray issue types in project okay so there are zero x-ray issue types configured for this project right in order to enable this project for testing with x-ray you need to configure x-ray issue types okay now you can do it automatically by pressing add x-ray issue types or manually by going into issue type scheme for this project and adding the x-ray x-ray issue types there now this might seem very complex okay if you have to go to the scheme this is more of a admin activity jira admin activity going to the scheme and adding these x-ray issue types the most easy and recommended ways to add x-ray issue types issue types directly from here okay so simply click on add x-ray issue types and automatically the x-ray issue types that are there now by default we have seen that in jira we were able to see the epic story task right and bug issue type now once we have installed x-ray and we want test management functionality within jira then that means that if we want to create a test case right we need to have an issue type test within jira so that's what this issue type adding issue type does so when we say add x-ray issue type it will add the issue type that are defined within x-ray okay now let's see what all issue types are defined within x-ray so you'll see that there is a test issue type okay precondition issue type test set test plan test execution and sub test execution so these are the six issue types new issue types that will be added in this jira instance for this particular project when you will add and configure x-ray in your jira instance okay now why these issue types say for example i want to create a test okay i want to create a test case in this particular project so i'll select issue type as a test okay this is the functionality that x-ray is providing that my test case will be categorized as test okay any precondition within the test will be categorized as precondition and that is also an issue type because within jira everything is an issue type so these are kind of a custom issue types that get added when we added x-ray and configured okay so these are the issue types that have been added and then there are many other configuration options uh, for example test environments you know um, the coverage and, and all other details example you know bdd step libraries so a lot more configuration options are available there but this is kind of a basic very basic and 
important configuration uh, or prerequisite that you will need before you can get started with test management within Jira using X-Ray. Okay, so this is around the configuration part. Now, if we go back and scroll down or just go here. So if we simply say, for example, click on create. Now, since we have configured the issue types and we have configured X-Ray. Now, in the issue types, when we click on this create button and click on this drop down, you will see all the issue types. Basically, that that uh, the, the X-Ray issue type test and test set they are all uh, basically available in the drop down as well right so you'll see all of the issue types that are coming from x-ray are available and that means that we have configured x-ray successfully in our instance okay so this is briefly what is x-ray okay how you are going to install it in your jira instance and how you are going to configure x-ray within jira before we can proceed further in learning further more stuff for test management within jira using x-ray okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you